Today on Geek Dad Life, we're going to show you how to take your new arcade 1UP TMNT's non-lit marquee from this to this. All right, before we open this up, hit like, hit subscribe, and hit the bell icon to be notified when new episodes of Geek Dad Life drop. Should tell your friends, youtube.com slash geekdadlife. We do new videos every week of all things geeky, like these arcade one-up uh, arcade games, going to different arcades, as well as uh, toy collecting, action figure collecting. Uh, we've uh, done videos on those uh, 40th anniversary Happy Meal toys, uh, and a lot more stuff to come in terms of my toy collecting, reviews of different geeky TV shows. So really, uh, if you enjoy geeky content, subscribe. You'll enjoy what we do here at Geek Dad Life. All right, so uh, opening this thing up. We can see that it is uh, well bubble wrapped and it is the light up marquee replacement marquee for my arcade one up Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles arcade game. Uh, the one I ended up going with was from thearcadegamefactory.com. There's a few different companies out there that are making up these light up marquees and uh, based on different reviews and what I saw this one looked to be uh, the best fit for what I was looking for which is really crisp graphics. Uh, good looking light up uh, marquee um, that was easy to put together. So this one kind of hit all the points for me. Black Friday sales are coming up. The uh, TMNT arcade game is going to be discounted on Walmart.com. Looks to be $50 off retail. Uh, so for anybody out there that's looking to get this game and is maybe bummed that there isn't a light up marquee, uh, I wanted to share my experience of putting this one together. Uh, for you to see, to show you how easy it is. All right, this is everything it comes with, the marquee, your power adapter and screws to screw it in, and the LED light up bar. All right, first step is you wanna unscrew the back of your arcade cabinet, make sure you pull it out, make sure it's unplugged and turned off, or turned off and unplugged. We're gonna need to make sure we can access all of the electrical inputs for our light up marquee. Next up, you're going to want to unscrew the top two screws on the cabinet. So the one that directly goes into the marquee uh, right here, and the second one to the top right of that marquee one. This will allow uh, enough wiggle room to kind of pull it out a little bit to remove the wooden marquee. Also make sure you unplug the audio cable before you take out the marquee. All right, now they have those top four screws removed. The uh, side panels should be easy enough to kind of push out uh, just a little bit to get those wood pegs um, or to pop out the marquee from those wood pegs that holds it in place. All right, now we can do a side-by-side -side comparison of the wooden marquee it comes with and the Arcade Game Factory light-up marquee. Um, you notice this is a little bit smaller in terms of the graphics. Uh, but overall, I think it's a pretty good uh, transfer. All right, the next step, and I find the most difficult step in this process, is removing this speaker housing from the wooden marquee that it came with. It's not incredibly difficult, it's just kind of a pain to unscrew it. Uh, once you take it off, it's just, you know, these speakers connected to the wires, and then realigning it with the new marquee. It's not that difficult, but it's kind of a pain in the butt. So if there was one difficult part of this, uh, process to put in your new light up marquee this was it but in the grand scheme of things not that bad next up you want to put your power adapter onto the led bar that's going to plug into the back of your monitor on the arcade game and you want to make sure that you have your two black screws those are going to hold your marquee into place once it's back into your arcade game all right next up you're going to want to feed your audio cable and your actual LED light up cable through the little hole above the monitor on your arcade game. And uh, you probably have to pull it through from the other side. That's what I had to do um, just to make sure you didn't have any like bunching up. And there's a little lip on the top of the replacement uh, marquee that kind of helps hold it into place. And then it's just kind of, you know, adjusting it till it gets just right. It'll kind of rest against the monitor and the back uh, board of the arcade game and then it'll kind of just get right into place 
and then line up for those screws to screw into the side of the uh, new marquee. You think I want to screw in those new uh, black screws into the two marquee uh, screw holes from the original marquee. Um, it's not too hard. Uh, it's actually, there's not a pre-cut hole into the marquee, so you're kind of actually uh, screwing it in uh, to the marquee, which makes a really tight fit. Also, make sure you put back in uh, those two uh, top right uh, long screws uh, to make sure that it's uh, nice and tight and back together the way it should be. All right, now we've got to plug back in our audio cable for the speaker. And now, if you notice, there's that little light symbol. And then we're going to plug in our LED bar directly into that output. All right, now let's plug it in and see if our work was good and that it all works. Ta-da! We have light. And the next thing you just want to make sure is that the audio works because uh, we did move around the speakers. All right, now that we know that our work is good, we can put the back of the arcade uh, game, screw it back on. And there we have it, our Arcade 1UP TMNT arcade game now has a light up marquee and it looks great. Uh, you know, after getting the Star Wars arcade and it had its light up marquee, it just it didn't look right with the uh, TMNT without the light up marquee. And I'm excited now that uh, both of my arcade 1UP games have a light up marquee to go along with my full size arcade cabinets. Here's it uh, without the lights on, showing the full effect that the arcade game factories light up marquee replacement for your TMNT game has. Uh, do I recommend this one? Uh, it's $49. Uh, it gets you relatively quick and it's easy to put in. So I will give it the Geek Dad Life buy rating. If you are, have just picked up your TMNT game with a Black Friday deal, I think this is a great addition to it because uh, the money you saved with this Black Friday deal, you can put towards this light up marquee. So really awesome. All right, that'll do it for this episode of Geek Dad Life. Did you install your own light-up marquee? Let me know in the comments. Let me know if you found a different brand that you liked better. And until next time, hasta luego and goodbye.